Are y'all ready for the best green bean you ever tasted from a can? Good God, good God Almighty, you won't believe how they taste. I cook just about everything. Good Lord. Come on in here, y'all. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you for coming back to Cooking with Sandra Bay. Today, people, today, we are making, well, I am making cut green beans from a can. So you say, green beans from a can? I like fresh green beans. Well, I'm going to teach you how to make canned green beans taste like they are from your garden or from the store fresh. People just don't know how to make them taste right, y'all. I mean, you're just not supposed to get the can and just eat them out the can or just put them on the stove and don't put no seasonings in it. You got to do better, people. And some people don't even know how long to let the green beans cook. Well, I'm gonna teach you all of that right now, okay? When I'm done with you and you try this recipe, you probably won't be picking or snapping another green bean again. So let's get this party started. Here are the ingredients that you will be using two slices of bacon, a half a yellow onion, two cans of 14 and a half ounce cut green beans, one 15 ounce can of whole new potatoes, but you can leave it out if you don't want to put potatoes in there, one teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of complete seasoning, a half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, salt if needed, one and a half cup of chicken broth, two bouillon cubes if you don't have chicken broth. Now, if your chicken broth is not flavorable enough, you can use one cube of chicken bouillon cube. Now, let's get this cooking started. Okay, people, let's cook our bacon first. You hear that sizzle? I love bacon sizzle. Make sure you chop it up though. I mean, you can cut it up the way you like it. It's up to you. But I kind of chop mine up because I don't want it to be too big. I want to make sure everybody get at least a bite of bacon in their green beans. <laughs> now, you don't have to use bacon if you don't want to. If you want a health kit, you can just go ahead and use what? Uh, smoked turkey. Whatever you want to in your green beans. But I'm going to tell you now. You're going to cook it like I do. It won't taste like mine. Mine is good. I know a lot of y'all don't like bacon grease. But hey, sometimes you need it in your system. You know, you got to get something in your system that you don't like sometimes. Just don't eat it all the time, y'all. I don't eat pork all the time like that. Okay, I know a lot of people say, oh, pork is not good for you. You shouldn't be eating a lot of pork. But you know what? It's okay to have it every now and then. I don't think you should go through life without eating some things that you like. That's just me. All right, that's a little brown. Ooh, that smells good. That smells delicious, y'all. Delicious. Now I'm going to add a half an onion in here. I use a half a yellow onion. You can put as much in there onion as you like, but a half an onion is good enough for two cans of beans. And I only use two cans of beans because it's just me. I can't eat up all those green beans by myself. Now, if you want to, you can double the recipe, triple the recipe, quadruple the recipe. It's up to you how you want to do it and how many servings that you need. All right, we're going to saute this a little bit. And then we're going to get our green beans ready. It's looking pretty good. It's the consistency that you want, guys. This is what you want. And you're not going to pour out this bacon grease. You're going to use the bacon grease. Healthy people, 
You hear me? You're gonna use this bacon grease. It's okay, okay? It's all right, you're not gonna die if you eat the bacon grease. Not right now. If you're eating it all the time, then yes, you just might have clogged arteries, all right? Make sure you drink plenty of water. Flush it out, flush it out your system. Put my two cans of green beans in here. Two cans. My chicken broth, look at that, all right. Chicken broth, ooh, it tastes so good, y'all. I love chicken broth. I like putting it in different vegetables. Not just green beans, collard greens, pinto beans, black eyed peas. You can put this stuff in anything. Chicken broth, this is about how much chicken broth you want. Okay, you're not gonna cook it too fast because you don't wanna cook away your chicken broth, all right? You don't wanna do that. I haven't put the beans in there yet. I'm not the beans, I'm sorry. I haven't put the potatoes in there yet, but it's coming. Make sure you have it on medium heat. You don't wanna cook it too fast. Okay, now I blend all my seasonings together. I'm putting it in here. Y'all remember what I said, huh? You remember what I said to put in here? I hope you do. Go back, go back and look at the video. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. Anyhow, now, I am going to add the goodness. Good Lord. The bacon. The bacon, y'all see that bacon? That bacon and onions. Ooh, can you imagine how it's gonna taste? Mm -hmm. Yes, the grease is going in there too. Yes, it's in there. It's in there. That's a commercial about that. What commercial say it's in there? I'll put it down in the comment section. I forgot. Any cool. Anyway, we're going to let this cook just a little bit before I add the potatoes. All right, after 10 minutes, now I'm going to put in my potatoes. I kind of cut them up because I didn't want to put them in their hole. You can do it the way you like. Chop it up any way that you like. Like I said, if you don't like them in there, don't put them in there. See, but it's gonna be good. I'm telling you, it's gonna be good in there. Can you imagine this with some cornbread? Ooh, cornbread. I ain't talking about no darn Jiffy mix now. I'm talking about real cornbread. I'm gonna show y'all how to make some cornbread, but not today, y'all. Not today. You gotta know how to make that cornbread for the dressing. In the pinto beans, in the black eyed peas, in the collard greens. Y'all know what I'm talking about, you southerners. Well, some of you northern people, y'all like that too. But that's okay. That's okay. We're going to teach you how to cook it. Now, this is the time you want to taste your pot liquor. Not the green bean, the pot liquor. Taste the pot liquor. Mmm. I don't need to add nothing. I don't need to add no more salt, no nothing. Because I'm telling you guys, listen to me. Whatever your pot liquor tastes like is what your green beans will taste like, okay? Always remember that, pot liquor. Even when you're cooking beans, greens, whatever the pot liquor tastes like is what your greens will taste like, your green beans and everything. Look at this. Oh, this looks so wonderful. And it smells delicious, y'all. Woo! As you noticed, I didn't have to use the bouillon kit. That's why I say as needed. It's according to your chicken broth and what brand that you use. This is the brand that I am using, Progresso Chicken Broth. I didn't have to add any salt, guys. I didn't have to. But if you need more salt, add it. And if you like less pepper than what I put in there, half a teaspoon, if you don't like anything tasting too hot or peppery, you can either omit it, leave it out, or just put a little bit to your liking. That's all I'm saying, okay? You ain't gotta do what I do. Just taste your food and you'll know what to do. All right, let's cover this baby up and let it cook for about maybe 15 more minutes. Okay, I slow cooked them for about 15 minutes. Look how that look. Oh, that looks so delicious. 
Now you can taste them, guys. You can taste it. Just pick you one up and taste it to see if you can taste the pot liquor. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ooh, good Lord, that tastes so good. Mmm, 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 mm. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Ooh, if I could just sing a song. I can, but I won't, y'all. I won't. Okay, now I can plate this up. Everything is good. Like I said, don't forget, pot liquor. And if you don't like pepper, don't put it in there. Don't put too much pepper either if you don't like a whole lot of pepper. All right? I like mine with a little fire, but not that hot. Well, I can't eat it, okay? But like I said, just put less pepper or add more salt if you think it's not enough salt for you. The only thing I'm going to tell you what really makes this taste good is when you cook the bacon, use the bacon grease in the chicken broth. You cannot go wrong with that. You cannot. And the garlic powder. Oh, Lord, that makes it taste good, too. All right. Moving right along here. Look at it, y'all. Just look at it. Look at that bacon. Look at those onions. Just look how good it is. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. You're going to be happy that you made it. Oh, yes, you are. I'm sure y'all heard Twinkie in the background. He's a parakeet. He loves to talk when Mama talks. I guess he want to cook, too. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let me tell you. This turned out amazing. It turns out amazing every time that you cook it the way that I do. Like I said, double the recipe, triple the recipe if you need more servings. You don't have to use salt if you choose the right chicken broth. You don't. And you can omit pepper if you don't like pepper. You can omit anything. But I'm telling you, do not omit the onions in the bacon but like i said you can add smoked turkey if you like that's if you like okay every now and then i love my bacon ain't nothing wrong with bacon making bacon ain't nothing wrong with making bacon all right let me taste this y'all mm. Mm, 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 mm. i'm telling you i'm gonna tell you you will not be sorry when you make this you will not be sorry of course i'm not gonna eat this whole bowl y'all i'm gonna save it for later but i want to thank you guys for coming by to watch me make cut green beans from a can with potatoes in it like i said no hard work tastes just like you snap them yourself if you don't believe me try the recipe they will not know that you did not use fresh green beans and if they said they do they are lying. <laughs> All right. Let me get out of here. Make sure you come back next week for another exciting recipe that you just not can resist. Did I say that right? No, that you just can't resist. <laughs> Same thing. All right, y'all. Moving on out of here. Twinkie, you got something to say? I guess he don't. He's over there looking at his mama. Anyway, come on back next week, y'all, to another episode of Cooking with Sandra Faye. Oh, I forgot to tell you. The recipe is in the description box. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.